So while the soldering iron is warming up, I can break some of the headers up. Soon this board shall be covered. I have done a little more. We've got 11 of 19 complete. Eight more to go. Three more to do. Last one. Done. I finished soldering, finished inserting the ICs. Now I need to check the data sheets for the pinouts of the ICs. So, first I'm going to look at the 74LS154, which is a 4 to 16 decoder. It's a simple IC, I quite like it. Uh, important pins for this one are G1 and G2, so that's pin 18 and 19. Uh, they are control lines, so I need to ground them so, they, so that the chip will always output a signal. Now the 74LS374 that I'm using, it's a nice little 8-bit register. Uh, now the output control pins are inverted, 
So I need to invert those signal. I need to invert the signals from the decoder to the register. So it, the signals will happen properly and rah rah rah. So I haven't got any 74 LSO fours. In fact, I've got one IC, which is six, not gates, and I need 16. So here is a 74 LS86. And there are four exclusive OR gates on here, and I can turn those into NOT gates by holding one of or pulling one of the uh, inputs high, so that the input signal for the other input will be inverted. That, that's quite handy. Uh, important pin is the clock, which is the right, which is pin 11. So now that I know the proper pinouts and whatnot, I can start to wire up. You can see I've already started there. That's G1 and G2 on 74S154. So I should have this board done pretty soon. So it doesn't take that long to construct uh, one socket with the head with the pin headers takes me about seven minutes to do max. Um, but wire wrapping takes me a little while.